The damning new allegations against Ellen DeGeneres. These new accusations come less than a month before she is set to kick off her new season. And this weekend, Ellen was leaning on her good friend, Kevin Hart. I'm a friend. As a friend, if I have a friend in trouble ever, I'm gonna do my best to try to be there for that friend. The meetup just 11 days after the comedian came to Ellen's defense amidst her talk show scandal. This morning we learned that Ellen is back in production remotely. The staff is Ellen's priority right now, but there's a new twist. People like Ashton Kutcher and Katy Perry have no idea what it's like to be an Ellen staffer. A woman claiming to be a former camera assistant spoke anonymously to an Australian radio station, alleging that the culture at Ellen was so toxic, it was like the devil wears Prada. That's all. Most people are told when Ellen enters a room, you and your entire crew need to leave. I think, honestly, Ellen has no idea who most of the staff even are. You can see on David Letterman's Netflix promo, she walks around the offices and, you know, really has no idea who we are. I don't know who that is. Oh, I'm Ellen. You I'm your boss. Nice to meet you. The show is under an internal investigation by its parent company. Meanwhile, remember the golden rule. Did Big Brother's Julie Chen Moonves take a dig at Ellen's trademark Be Kind sign off? Be kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Be good to one another. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Julie told EW her ad lib remarks had nothing to do with Ellen, but were a way for her to show support for Black Lives Matter rights and mask wearing.